All right, a thick view here from Johnson City. You see some dark skies there in the distance. Rain has now let up in JC. Still a drop there on the right side of our camera on the lens. 78 degrees at Tri Cities Airport right now. Notice across southwest Virginia, boy, a kind of explosion of showers and storms here, basically from Smith County further south and west into Washington County and as far west into parts of Scott County and kind of right near Kingsport as well, near Mount Carmel and uh, right there near downtown Kingsport. All these showers and storms slowly drifting off to the north and east, but where they're at, they're producing a lot of heavy rainfall right here along the 81 corridor north of there from Chilhowie into parts of Chatham Hill. Some heavy downpours as you go out of Marion, head towards Chatham Hill. Also a little bit of rain there south and west of Marion. Uh, heads up Sugar Grove and kind of the southeast side here of Smith County. And keep an eye on this storm. You notice as we look at a closer view of the radar, a little pink showing up there. Now that's likely not hail as much as it is a big thunderstorm core aloft. And what goes up in the atmosphere? It's got to come down. And when it comes down, sometimes it brings strong gusty winds. So I would not be shocked to see a severe thunderstorm warning come out from maybe the southeastern side here of uh, Smith County, a little bit of Grayson County over the next say, 15 to 20 minutes as that storm continues to strengthen. Future track through the evening shows more scattered showers and storms out there. And those showers and storms will be with us through much of the early overnight before kind of tapering off as we get closer towards around 4 to 5 a.m. Then as we go in into the day on Thursday, a few scattered showers in the morning, maybe the early afternoon, but a better chance as we head into the late afternoon and evening for widespread showers and storms. Rain chance tomorrow on 70 to 80 percent, especially mid to late afternoon, and some of those could once again produce some heavy rain and downpours. We'll also monitor Friday for a few additional showers and storms. Some of those could develop as early as around 11 a.m. on Friday. Severe weather risk for tomorrow. It's a level one. That includes all of uh, Wednesday afternoon through the remainder of the day. Also into uh, tomorrow for Thursday afternoon. So for this evening, a level one. Same thing for tomorrow across the area uh, with one or two storms like that one I talked about in Smith County potentially getting strong to severe. Temperatures tonight dropping down to around 69 to 70. Highs tomorrow and 86 to 87 for your Thursday day in the Tri-Cities, generally mid to upper 80s across the area. Hey, we did it. We tied that streak that we were talking about over the past few days by reaching 90 degrees nine days in a row. We did the same thing last year. Tomorrow with temperatures a little bit cooler, I don't think we'll break that streak, but the interesting weather stat to look at no matter which way uh, you look at it there. Temperatures through the weekend dropping down into the 90s, or actually I should say increasing into the 90s. Rain chances dropping though to only around 30%. As we head towards Saturday and into Sunday and around 30 to 40 as we head into next week. Tropical storm Gonzalo is now spinning east of the Lesser Antilles. That'll continue to push off towards the west and move into the Caribbean here as we go into the weekend as a Category 1 hurricane, eventually weakening as it pushes towards the middle part of the Caribbean. Uh, but something to watch for the Gulf Coast area and also for the Yucatan as we head into uh, the late part of next week. Now, something to watch now along the Gulf Coast is what could soon become Tropical Storm Hannah. Now, this is interesting because this would be the eighth named storm of the Atlantic hurricane season and the earliest we've ever seen eight named storms on record if this develops. So a very active start to the 2020 or 2020 hurricane season here, uh, 2005 to 2002, the other analogs for uh, early starts and frequent starts to the season.